So today the question is that will PHP die in 2016 and then he saw oh, I mean go with the question so the question is really I mean genuine and authentic will the PHP programming I mean can you see PHP 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 programming language will die in 2016 no way no 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 way a lot of people I mean a lot of the programs start thinking that PHP is going to die I mean slowly thanks to the Python Ruby on rail but the problem is that WordPress I mean the most website in the world is powered by a CMS called WordPress if you don't know what is CMS content management system even the PlayStation 4 block is run by on, on WordPress so WordPress is built in PHP number two the most famous e-commerce I mean card software is powered by Magento Magento is built in PHP the professional news I mean publishing or a CMS which is the king of CMS Drupal I'm good Drupal built in PHP not only that I mean a lot of people argue that okay Facebook is built in PHP it was built 10 years ago but a lot of new applications are built in Ruby on Rails I agree with you building an application or web application in Ruby on Rails is freaking simple compared to the PHP but when you're building something on Ruby on Rails you're using a Ruby gym you're not learning you don't have any freaking clue what is going behind the scene when you are coding in PHP you really know what is going behind the scene not only that I mean a lot of people then start talking what about Python the number one problem with Python is the indentation I mean I love Python Python is easy to learn I have taught Python I mean for the university I mean programming in another degree I really love Python but the indentation if you don't know indentation if I by mistake if there's like one extra white space my code will not work not only that I mean Python do not have like I mean to use Python for web programming you know to use framework where you can use the PHP natively for the web programming not only that what about the server a lot of people still use like a GoDaddy a name chief I mean web server host get uh, a small orange which they only pay five bucks a month so they use for a share hosting so for a share hosting I mean nearly 99 okay i will say 100 percent all server in the world support php but i can't say for the python i have seen not much support for a python or ruby on rail i mean if you're going to go with a five dollar one because ruby on rail and python require more software yes i agree with you python is power faster than php elegant than php but at the end of the day, php echo i mean echo syntax is much better to write i really love it so php is not going to die because PHP I mean a lot of stuff in the world is based I mean someone saying that I mean will window PC die we can hate I mean I'm not I really love window 10 but I didn't upgrade I'm sticking with my window 8 point due to the ecosystem now I'm getting used to window 8 point 1 so I still have sticking but why window will not die even I mean a lot of people switching to Linux and Mac OS because a lot of window I mean PC hardware are in use in the world so it's not very easy it will take like 20 years before it become vanish I mean fully I mean window XP which is like I mean so old I mean which window XP like more than 12 13 years old still I mean it is in use so same with the PHP PHP will not die in 2016 after 20 years I can't say anything I mean at least it will take 20 years to die so I mean if you start learning PHP and become a PHP developer or a PHP engineer I mean after 20 years I mean you can jump to next programming or you can jump into like a project manager or whatever so in 2016 or 2020 PHP no dying PHP after if you don't know uh, the PHP 7 is coming after the release of PHP 7 PHP 7 I'm is going to fill the gap between the Ruby on Rail and the Python so if you have any question you can email me at gmailgeek at gmail.com it's me gmailgeek bye